CBS News has exclusively learned that the Biden administration is planning to refer some migrants in Latin America for resettlement in Greece and Italy. Yeah, it's part of the White House's effort to discourage migrants from crossing the U.S.-Mexico border. Now, this initiative would involve both countries welcoming migrants who are processed at the immigration centers in four Latin American countries. The offices were created last year as part of an effort to screen asylum seekers who hope to reach the U.S. CBS News immigration and politics reporter Camilo Montoya Galvez broke this story. He's in San Antonio, Texas with more. So what more can you tell us about this initiative and how it's expected to work? Hi, Lindsay and Lana. That's right. The Biden administration, as we speak, is currently preparing to refer some migrants in the Latin America region to be resettled in both Italy and Greece as part of this broader effort that you mentioned to deter illegal crossings along the U.S.-Mexico border, which, as you know, have reached record levels over the past three years. Last year, the Biden administration created these immigration processing centers in four countries in Latin America to screen migrants who wanted to come to the U.S. And since then, it has been processing thousands of migrants who may be eligible for refugee status or other immigration benefits that allow them to come to the U.S. legally. Importantly, Canada and Spain have also been welcoming some of the migrants who are filing applications under this initiative. And now we have learned, of course, that Italy and Greece are also planning to join this multi-country initiative and also welcome some migrants and workers to their countries. The idea here, Lindsay and Lana, is to deter illegal immigration at the U.S.-Mexico border by offering would-be migrants legal opportunities to come to the U.S. and now other countries. Camilo, I have so many questions about this, but maybe let's just go through some of the logistics about it. How, how does the Biden administration choose who is going to be sent to Greece or Italy? Um, do we... Does the U.S. government pay for these migrants to be sent there? Uh, tell us more about how this is, is supposed to work. These are all excellent questions, Lana. There are four of these immigration processing centers in four countries, Colombia, Ecuador, Costa Rica, and Guatemala. Those four countries have agreed to process some of these migrants who would be referred to either the U.S. or these countries that we mentioned, Spain, Canada, and now Italy and Greece. United Nations officials and others are helping the U.S. to screen vulnerable migrants traveling throughout the region, particularly in these four countries, and who are eligible to come to different countries so they can be vetted, screened, and then they can take a flight to their respective destinations. Not everyone qualifies. For example, in Guatemala, only Guatemalan migrants can apply for this initiative. In Costa Rica, only Venezuelan and Nicaraguan migrants can apply. And in Ecuador, only Cubans, Haitians, Colombians, and Venezuelans can apply for this Initiative. So there are restrictions, but it is a U.S. funded and driven initiative. And so the U.S. would be subsidizing the transportation and the processing of these migrants. Because again, from the U.S. perspective, the goal here is to divert people away from the U.S. border and to other countries or to the U.S., but in a legal fashion. Why would Italy and Greece join the effort? Excellent question. Obviously, Italy and Greece have faced migration crises of their own with massive numbers of migrants from Africa and the Middle East coming to their countries over the past 10 years or so. Obviously, after the Syrian refugee crisis, Turkey, Greece and other countries in Europe and Asia face a massive influx in refugees. But both countries, Greece and Italy, for that matter, are in many ways transit countries because most migrants traveling there do not stay there. They're wanting to settle in other European countries. And they're right now facing significant labor shortages and aging populations. And so there is an incentive in both Italy and Greece to attract and welcome foreign workers. So the U.S. essentially would be able to relieve pressure at the border and Italy and Greece would get foreign workers in a legal migration program. All right. Interesting. Uh, Camilo Montoya-Gavez breaking that news for us. Thanks, Camilo.